Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Now before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. That's what it says right there. Total Eclipse, not often seen. I mean, there's, there's usually a total eclipse or at least some type of eclipse going on almost every year on the planet. Sometimes more than one in a year. But good luck living in the path of totality. Um, so you might be able to experience a total eclipse once or twice in your life, depending on how long you live and where you happen to live in the world uh, without having to like travel significantly to, to see it. Um, so, and I was able to do that this year. During this century, North America has seen seven eclipses uh, so partial, total, annular eclipses. And uh, this last year, or the last two years, we had two eclipses in a row, which is somewhat rare, honestly, uh, for, for an area to have that. So we had uh, the annular eclipse in 2023 and then the total eclipse uh, this year. And in addition to that, those two eclipses formed an X right over the Texas Hill Country. So of course, every winery in the area has been prepping for these two eclipses. And there was one winery that harvested on the date of the eclipse before all that in 2017 in August, they harvested during that eclipse, even though we didn't have totality in Texas, we had a partial eclipse and they ended up making a wine from that. They reserved one barrel, um, which they used in their event uh, this year. Now eclipses, oh, they're kind of a big deal. Uh, people will travel all over the world to experience two to four minutes of totality. Yeah, you may have some areas or some uh, total eclipses that the totality is less, sometimes like a minute uh, or sometimes longer, maybe like five or six minutes, but it's a big deal. And you, you add to that, the, the thing is you travel there and you're probably having to make these plans maybe a year in advance, maybe longer, and you have no idea what the weather's going to be like. Now you can get an idea because weather tends to follow certain patterns and trends. So like in this year, April was the totality for us in the United States or North America. And April is in the Northern hemisphere, um, notorious for having cloud cover. So you don't know necessarily what your weather is going to be like, and you may have traveled thousands of miles and spent thousands of dollars to get there. So this video is my experience at the Ron Yates Winery uh, Eclipse Party this year. Now, I'm gonna be inter interjecting clips of me here or doing vo voiceovers, but you're gonna see the video clips I took um, and I'm gonna try to piece them together to kind of tell the story. All right, so it's Eclipse Day and it's 4.37 a.m. So leaving a little early, I try to get to Ron's place by 6.30. I'm gonna stop by a McDonald's because they owe me yeah, they owe me a breakfast for taking a long time. Last time I went there for breakfast. So I'm going to do that and drive out there. And it's already overcast, at least here in San Antonio. I don't expect it to be much different an hour and a half, two hours away. So um, we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, I made it. It's about eight after six. Not that I made like great time. I was actually driving kind of slower than normal, but um, one of the first people here, <laughs> uh, thankfully Ron told me which gate to go in at because there's a couple people that are hanging out at the actual gate. Little do they know that that's not the gate people are gonna come in at. Um, the other gate was open and there's already a couple people here. Looks like they're gonna set up. Maybe it's the kitchen people. It is still overcast and it was drizzly and a little bit of light rain right over here. It's more of a drizzle. I came here so early because I wanna to try to catch the potential sunrise. And I even have all the perspectives using Google Earth Pro. 
but it's probably not going to happen. So I'm just going to hang out in the car for a little bit. If it looks like there might be some possibility of getting a sunrise, then I will, but I might just take a little bit of a nap. All right. So we're here. Got my, got my hat. And uh, it's well after seven o'clock already. It's 728. And uh, the sun should sunrise was 715. So obviously I didn't get a sunrise because it's all overcast. But you don't scrape out overcast guys. Perfect soft box for photography and videography. So um, you got the best soft light in the world. <laughs> the biggest soft box in the world. So uh, the caterers are getting things set up. I'm gonna be providing breakfast and lunch, I think, and everything. So that should be really cool. They were here before I got here, but there was nothing to shoot because it was dark. So all kinds of cool stuff. When they get finished with everything, we'll come back and shoot some more footage. Then we have this huge field over here. Probably and we got the band. They pulled up a little while ago in their tour bus. And we got the stage. Maybe I should have brought my keyboard and see if they need a keyboard player. That would have been fun. And then we have a bunch of people. Not a bunch. We got a few people that uh, spent the night. And probably going to spend the night tonight. Either in their vehicles or their RVs. So there's no hookup. So you were boondocking, if it will, as the kids call it. But yeah, got some porta potties, got some tables and we're gonna set up for breakfast later. Got a wide open field, honestly, to do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, this is part of the property I did not realize Ron owned. I didn't think this part was part of his stuff. So it's got a, quite a bit going on here. And other than just a bunch of setup, it looks like they're getting some the wine tasting area set up. Right now, it's just gonna be a lot of setup. Things aren't supposed to happen until eight o'clock, so we are a little early. All right, so if the weather had cooperated, this is the direction I would have been facing to catch the sunrise. You'll see on Google Maps, Google Earth Pro, I had the whole thing uh, mapped out in order to do this. But, you know, hey, stuff happens. <laughs> all right, so now that I have all kinds of time to just walk around the property, this is the actual winery. Um, I know they can do some tastings over here, but this is not the tasting room per se. And you can see there's activity going on. I'm sure almost all of it has to do with today, but I would imagine there might be some actual winery business going on uh, other than Eclipse stuff. All right, this is the actual tasting room. Um, there's people in there right now, but it's closed to the public today. I'm not gonna go in there and bother them. They've got way more things to do than to uh, <laughs> chit chat with me. I know Ron's in there, so I'm walking there. Um, but it's a cool tasting room. We got a little outside area, inside area, mostly outside area. Nice and covered. Got the hangout here back in October, sitting outside. Got great, got uh, taken great care of, VIP treatment. Now here are some of the vineyards. And we're gonna walk along the vines. What you see on here is hail netting. Oh, they opened the main gate because <laughs> that's where everyone's trying to come in. So we have a few cars coming in. My understanding is we'll probably not get the big crowd we expected. It's understandable. The chances of actually seeing the eclipse is pretty low. So I, I've heard that we're going to have a much lower number, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe people like me just want to come out for the, for the fun. Granted, full disclosure, I'm here 
as a member of the press, so I didn't have to pay anything, but still. So this is a hail netting. And we actually had a hail storm recently. And what it does is it helps protect the vines, especially the leaves. There wasn't, we haven't had bud, bud break yet. Um, from what I can tell, maybe a little bud break so far. You can see we've got some uh, beginnings of some things here. But hail is a very big uh, danger in a lot of wine growing areas, but especially Texas. And that's what this is for. And there's Ron himself, busy as all hell. Ron, how you doing, brother? I'm doing well. <laughs> how are you doing? Outstanding, man. Outstanding. Get, get to work, man. Best weather you can get for an eclipse. Hey, you see in the distance, there's some blue stuff. That's to help the vines grow up to where they get to the wires for the trellising. And then over here, you don't see anything because either they haven't planted anything yet or um, it's too early for that. I don't see any actual vines right now. And we got some flowers here. I'm not a expert, horticulture expert, but I'm going to assume these are Italian paintbrush, uh, Italian Indian paintbrushes. Um, I believe there are some blue bonnets around here, right over here. If you're not familiar with this little fun fact, the blue bonnet is the state flower of Texas. And uh, lots of people like to stop along sides of the road, take pictures of them, and uh, sometimes they pick them. And I'll have to double check on this, but as far as I know, at least on public land, it is illegal to pick blue bonnets in the state of Texas. Now, should be lower third letting you know whether that's false or not, but that's what I heard growing up here. There's more of the winery. We have a little break in the clouds a few hours too early. Uh, so check out the VIP tent. We've got a breakfast buffet here. Some cool stuff. There's a lot of people there, so I may not be able to get a great shot of everything. Texas. Take a shot from down the center of the table. And then we have a coffee and juice little bar area here. Then we have the bar bar. So we're gonna have all kinds of cool wines here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's, let's get the. You got to see me. That's the theme of the day. <laughs> so that's gonna be the Eclipse wine, right? Yes. So many wines here. Yeah. Right. Can you get a, a shot of that? And the glass. Okay. There we go. Let's zoom in on that one. There you go. Eclipse 24 special edition. Make sure you get your glass. Outstanding, man. Thank so you. Bad, right. All right, we got the Thanks. everything else is going to be available for uh, purchase today uh, by the glass, by the bottle. So you got a little selection here. All kinds of all kinds of stuff. There's a lot more traffic. Probably most much of the same similar stuff for you because I know you're going to get hurt somehow. <laughs> it might happen. Hopefully not. Hopefully, Hopefully not. not. <laughs> hey, ladies, how y'all doing? All right. And the sky is clearing up a little bit, so that's good. The sun teased us a little earlier today, kind of poked through the clouds. That's over in this direction. All kinds of clouds. But yeah. And really, a lot of it this morning was fog. But I think I'm going to grab something to eat and socialize some more. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We got some activities I got to show you before they get into it too, uh, too quickly here. So we got cornhole. I don't really understand cornhole. I never really played in college or after college. Got a football. Then we have our axe throwing. I talked about that earlier. So this is like, I guess, lawn dart type thing. So you can't actually get cut by these axes. I mean, they're kind of pointy, so, you know, 
Might get hurt. A little bocce ball. And then we got some tables. I think just random tables where people put their glasses on. And people are getting, the, getting their spots, claiming their spaces. You got the chairs out. We got tables and chairs over here too. Porta potties in the back. So we got, looks like some potatoes and a couple of different bread puddings and a croissant, a little fruit. Got a little juice here. So, and fancy kind of silverware here in the VIP side. So looking good. I'm excited to dig into this. I hear mimosas are coming at some point in time. And uh, hey, the sun came out again. What do you know? All right, so we are near eclipse time. Actually, the eclipse has started. A little bit of the moon has already started obstructing the sun. Um, we have another almost hour before a total eclipse happens. And uh, yeah, so the clouds have broken. I'm claiming credit that I did the anti-rain dance um, to have some breaks in the clouds. So we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> yeah, I made you laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Uh, all right, so um, I... Uh, I cornered Ron over here uh, about this wine here. So we're here at the, I mean, you know where we're at. If I already got a bunch of video, but I convinced them to open up some of this. Uh, this is their Eclipse wine, the um, the Eclipse Merlot yeah. 2022. And uh, I, I, I had a sip already and I came over to tell Ron it was fucking good. And uh, it is. So I don't, I don't expect Appreciate anything that. different, but you know, when I, when I tasted it, I was like, went to Matt McGinnis and was like, this is good. Like so, I think it's got some alcohol in it too. It's like fourteen nine. It's, fourteen nine. It's up well, there. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, come on, dude. You're feeling it right now, huh? Not yet, but I've had a couple of mimosas. So, <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> so Ron, um, kind of talk about the event real quick, and then yeah, no, we're having uh, Mike and the Moon Pies or Silverada as they're now known. Yeah, playing some great tunes. We have like 280 people out here, and it feels vacant. It's great. I know, right? It's awesome. We're having some great some paella, some pig roast about to start. Yeah. You know, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Great tunes, great day. Maybe the clouds will, will break up a little bit. We'll, I'm gonna get some, I'm, we'll get some sun. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Yeah. I'm trying to get the anti-rain dance going on. But. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, we had, I came out here a few weeks ago and we kind of chatted and you kind of gave me where you're at ticket-wise and at 280, yeah. and it does it doesn't feel like there's a lot in, but that's great. No, it's great. Yeah, we 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 were capping it at. at 500 anyways because right, we wanted yeah. it to be somewhat intimate but this is great you know there's no lines on the road like no they lines said in there the road be. We, yeah they're they're predicting apocalypse yeah well i think that you know they, nobody wanted to come hang out with me on the apocalypse i, I don't know why they, <laughs> i that's why i'm here you know and i know i'll be straight about this was like you know the weather's gonna be crappy man do i do i really want to go like the whole point is going to the eclipse and i was like no i'm gonna go why because it's gonna be a great party oh and you I get, to hang, me. get to hang with ron so yeah, so I was like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go. So I got here at six in the morning, ish. You did, I saw you pull in. <laughs> I got up out of, out of the tent, I looked, and I was like, somebody else will help him. Yeah. And I slept. I just, I got out of the car, and uh, you saw the video, but I got out of the car, I kind of walked over here, they were setting up, I walked back to my car, I set an alarm for like 7 a.m. in case the clouds broke. Yeah. They didn't, I took a little nap in the car. Well, so, naps are good. Naps, naps are, are good, good. yeah. You know, but um, no, this this wine is awesome. Yeah, so this is John Friesen fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, Merlot, this vineyard is really, Merlot is fun because no matter how many awards you win and how great it is, sometimes people just don't want to drink Merlot. But it's They're become <laughs> become a savior for us. This, this wine gets blended into so many wines for us. Yeah. And it's always, what needs some help? Put some Merlot in it. Yeah. So we didn't bottle a 22 Merlot because of the short vintage. The wine went into a bunch of different blends. So we had four barrels left and we we're like, you know what? That's gonna be the uh, the Eclipse wine. Perfect. And it, I mean, it's it's delicious. It's silky, it's smooth, it's lush. Uh, blueberry, little blackberry, chocolate. I mean, it is what a Merlot needs Doing to be. Doing all the things it's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, you know, and, and, I, and I know, you and I talked about Texas and wine, yeah. and, and there's there's all these things. Be oh, you can you can make great wine in Texas. You can, you absolutely can, and we you do. can make Merlot. You know, they go well. You can't grow these. You can grow lots of different grapes. We're a big state. Absolutely, a lot Large. of a lot of, lot of places you Large. can grow stuff. Large. So, 
No, this this wine is fantastic. Yeah, 14, you said 14.9? 14.9. So it's, it's a big boy, but I Maybe mean. Maybe it's 15.1 and we just put 14.9 on the label? You have a point, no, you have a 1%. Well, whole percentage point. Whole percentage point. As long point. as it doesn't cross, cross the 14. Yeah. 14. So it'd be 14 to 15.9. It cannot be 13.9, <laughs> it can right. only be 14. I had, I had an Australian person tell me that their wine was probably 17. And the and the uh, the label said fifteen something, and I tried to explain to him that he couldn't do that, but he said Australia we can. I'm like, <laughs> like I'm not gonna debate you. We're not Aussie <laughs> now, so yeah. I don't know, but um, yeah, I mean, so yeah, we so we had the, we had breakfast, we had yep. a little, we had a taco, a breakfast taco buffet, we had a regular buffet, had some omelets, omelets, getting ready to start the start the uh, the first band here in a second. Yeah, We're gonna rock with some some paella. Yeah. Pig on a spit. We're gonna do all the things. Yeah, I saw that we got the, the ovens over there. Absolutely. The, the, they the band did like a sound check. We thought they were starting. It was just their sound check. Nah, they just had to get straight. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but they're gonna start soon. Then we'll have the main event. And then the, the band. And then people. But you have some. You have some people that boondocked, right? Yeah, we had about 15 RV spots that we yeah. opened up, and everybody came out. And we didn't. You know, we did. We'd never done it before. Didn't know what to think. It worked out. Yeah. We will probably do some more large scale events out here. The guys cleaned it up, and the and it's it uh it looks great out here. I'm I'm pretty excited about I'm, some future stuff. I'm excited Either about without it. Without yeah, an eclipse. No, this is awesome. You can have any type of little event out here. Yeah, uh, larger event or large, yeah. <laughs> larger yeah. event. Yeah, and are most of these people going to stay tonight too? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Because that was kind of the deal. They could stay absolutely Sunday and Monday night, right? If they're going to continue to yeah. enjoy this wine with me. They probably need to stay. Yeah, they today. do. Did, did you did you have like a Burning Man last night? No, uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I saw the big, I saw the big uh, tower of uh, light over there, yeah, and I was yeah. like, I got actually, uh, I actually got a good four hours of sleep last night. I got like ten on I, the ground. I got like five in my yeah, bed. Yeah, well, you're better and, than I. And like forty-five minutes in the car. Yeah. So there you go, there you go. Ron, um, this is amazing wine. I'm glad you're digging. Um, I love it. Thank you so much for having them actually open it. <laughs> I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, they go, where's your ticket? I said, I got here at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Ron goes, doesn't need a ticket. Were they not drinking wine at 6 in the morning? Like, what are we doing? Like, he doesn't need a what ticket. are we doing? He doesn't need a ticket. I was like, okay. Then you also called me, what, the drunkest person you know? I'm not drunk yet, but yeah. I have to be sober to drive home, so this is probably the last Or you're just going to stay here. One of the two. I got to be at actual real work tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. But this is great. Uh, guys, it's going to be more footage for the rest of the event i just want to you know corral ron here for a little bit talk about the wine and have him because we're all excited about the event and just the party and that's really what it is it's a party it's a party it's a good time just happened to be that the moon's gonna block new the friends sun. new friends doing it they're off camera but yeah doing it cheers awesome. my man cheers absolutely thanks sir all right man Behind Sun us. behind right, right. us. Yes. And so you hold this oh, up and that. you'll see, you can actually get, there it is. I can see. We do see it with the lights, yep. the studio yeah. lights. You only yeah. need a little bit and then depending on how far in and out you move it and the size of the hole, that gives you your focal length. Got it. Just and, like a lens. And basically, like we're saying with the studio lights, if something were, were to pass over the studio lights, that same uh, um, shadow essentially yes. would, be a clip, or would be projected through Absolutely. the index card right now. That's how you. All right, so um, I'm not going to have you watch all 14 minutes of them jibber-jabbering about the eclipse. Uh, I just wanted to have some visuals while uh, my video was playing. So my video is, like I already posted, on the left-hand side. You can see now there's nothing going on because the clouds are obscuring everything. But if you look on the right-hand side, you'll have NASA's little... Um, uh, live stream going on and then below that that's the uh explorer map that shows you the shadow being cast on the earth and then the little tiny yellow circle that's when you are like a totality for that area so even though uh the totality is still in the pacific ocean you can see that uh, we have already 
got the shadow going on that the moon is already starting to obscure it. You can see right there that um, it's about halfway for Mazatlan. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to my next clip and we'll go from there. Okay, so that first clip that we watched, it was just under five minutes total that we sped up. This next clip that we're watching now is a total of almost 15 minutes. Don't worry, we're not going to watch all 15 minutes in real time. We're going to go and speed it up quite a bit. I just wanted to show kind of the progress of what I was able to get in, in uh, high Texas, along with the stuff from NASA. Um, the thing is, this clip ends before totality because I was stupid enough to be texting somebody. And when you start texting and get notifications, the video recording stops on the iPhone. I know better, but I was too excited. Luckily, um, when totality happened, I grabbed my DJI Osmo pocket and walked around the grounds and got all that. So we have some really cool stuff coming up in a second. We're about, we're less than 20 minutes away. I'm hanging out with my new friend, Yun. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. He's right here. There you go. Thank you, Yun. Uh, we're actually uh, enjoying the uh, Eclipse wine. Uh, he graciously bought a bottle for us. And we're having the lunch with all the accoutrement and everything. Um, everybody's looking up. The clouds are going in and out. Right now, it's pretty cloudy. I am recording everything as best I can. We're getting close. We're getting close. It's getting darker too. So um, got everybody looking up. So I'm going to take a shot of that. There we go. Twenty minutes later. Oh. <laughs> anyway. But this is cool. Yeah. And I'm impressed. We have 280 people here. Like I was expecting like a hundred maybe. Oh. You know, and, and I know Ron didn't hit his goal of five hundred. Yeah. But I'm impressed that two hundred and eight people decided just to say, hey, you know what, we don't care if it's gonna get we're gonna get socked in. Um we just wanna experience whatever it is. And I mean it's getting dark dark. Yeah. I mean it's thirteen thirty two. We we are like yeah. we're we're minutes away, like a couple minutes away. <laughs> and I know a number of people will cancel. A lot of people can't see yeah. it everywhere. Yeah. And my and my boss, my boss just asked me if I could see anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to reply to her real quick. I have everything I do not disturb so nothing gets nothing gets uh, messed up. Uh oh. It's getting dark. Like it's about to be nighttime. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, there was a break in the clouds. Camera doesn't see anything. But we are almost there. Thirty three. Two more minutes. Hold on. Wow, it's this is weird. Totally overcast, but it's so dark. Wow. It is totally overcast, but now it's like nighttime right now. It's kind of crazy. It's totally overcast, but now it's pitch black. It's kind of cool. It's totally overcast. It's getting so many things. Wow. No, we put these on. See how dark it is? It is absolute nighttime. Wow. It is crazy. It is crazy. All right, so I'm going to walk around. Um, considering considering it is it is totally dark and the camera will catch whatever but yeah so got a little bit of light here this is the this is the VIP 
<laughs> porta potties. Got some light here. But yeah, check it out, man. It is absolutely dark. Unfortunately, we're so so socked in, but it is nighttime. <laughs> it is nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. Ron, you can't see him. Daytime, nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, that that margarita, nice and spicy, little jalapeno. Love the red jalapeno. Everything's broken. Nice. Cell phones done. Nice. This is nuts. This is pretty crazy. This is. This is I did not expect it. Let's check out the stage because it's all lit up. It's definitely colder. Not like cold, cold, but it's definitely 10, maybe even 20 degrees cooler right now. No point looking up because there's nothing to look at. Oh, okay, somebody is all excited. But we got the stage over here. Let's go see everybody over here. Oh, there's some people clapping. I don't know if they're applauding me or not, but... I'm sitting in front of the stage. But yeah, kids running around. Oh. Matt McGinnis has like a special camera that can see through clouds. <laughs> oh, do you see something? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Sorry for the language. Let's see. Can I... There you go. Totality right there as we speak. Hopefully the other camera got it. Matt's excited. Hopefully my other camera caught all this. <laughs> it's on a tripod, so. That's pretty cool. The crowd's, crowd's standing. Well, most, most were still sitting. But okay, so check it out. Look, 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 look at the, um, Look at the rest of the plaza. Look, you can see like it's like an old sunset or whatever. Oh my gosh, look at it. That's so cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Very, very cool. Everyone's hanging out. They're all pointing up at the, up the, up at the sun. Hey, someone came out to look at the eclipse. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. All right. Yes, you were mentioned. <laughs> I don't know your name, so I didn't mention you by name. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. Uh, somebody's got something going on here. I don't know what they what they got recording. I see a flashing red light. Oh, the, is this like a 360 camera? Oh yeah, and it's a 360 in the wild. And eventually, eventually, I'll get one myself. And it's got motion too. So when oh. you walk by. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. That's crazy. I definitely want one of those at some point. Now, hey, it's getting lighter and lighter, so totality should be ending soon. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Like I said, totality end, half, lasts about four minutes, almost four and a half minutes. So I don't know what's happening here, but it's getting lighter and lighter, but we don't really see anything. All right, it's time Literally, the clouds look like they just stopped. But now you can see all these people looking up. Dude's got a legit telescope tracking everything. If we actually got something worth getting, I'd pay him money for it or her, whoever it is, them. Whoever, whoever owns the telescope, I'd, I'd, I'd pay them for it. I don't have a lot of money, but I'd pay something for it. All right. See if we can break down uh, general mission. Very, very, very cool. Everyone's happy. Got to experience something we don't get to experience very often. More people looking up. We got all kinds of stuff over here. Got the other bar. Got some cool stuff over here. Up, up. All right, so now things are pretty much done. We got a little bit of... I left my glasses at the table, so I won't look up too much, but we'll see what the Osmo Pocket picks up. It's dark enough and cloudy enough that I'm not going to fry anything here.
Now we just have to wait another 21 years for it to go over a significant part of the United States. There's really not much left to record anymore. I mean, it's it's totally overcast. Uh, yeah, the moon is going to block sun, the sun a little bit. But it was cool to experience that, you know, getting it dark and everyone's excited about it. And um, we had a great time. The, the, the next band's about to come up. Got to keep the party going. And um, yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad I got to experience this. Um, you'll probably see some footage maybe a little bit later of the aftermath. But other than that, um, that's going to do it for most of the day. I'll try to have a little bit more. And uh, yeah. All right. So uh, the other band is already done. <laughs> that was a great conversation with Yun, uh, my new friend. Uh, he grew up in San Antonio, which is actually kind of cool. And um, I also met some cool people. Uh, they gave me a taste and Yun a taste of Beast Sellers uh, Specs Offer Tokelon Cab. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. Um, and been enjoying the uh, glad you came to see me, Cab Merlot blend from Ron Yates. Um, I like the Cliff wine better, but it's also fantastic wine. So great stuff. It's winding down around here. There isn't a lot going on. I'll just you see it behind me. I just want to like give you a little update what's going on. It's still cloudy, is you know what, but is what great event had a lot of fun the second man had a group of people that were uh hanging out by the by the stage and uh i want to thank uh big thirst marketing my boy matt mcginnis and uh everybody there for inviting me i want to thank ron for uh everything he's done for me personally and then just everything he does for the for the uh industry and just he is such a giving person, and I think everything that he does. And if you haven't watched my Twig documentary, you should, because you should learn more about Texas wine and treat Texas wine. All right, so uh, this might be it. There's not much else going on. I have a little bit of wine left over from what I purchased, so I'll take that home, crush it tonight, and uh, be safe driving home. So um, it might be a big home for dinner. Uh, but yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, the weather could have been better, but honestly, too many people coming out saw a great party, fantastic stuff. I'm gonna try to find Ron, say goodbye to him, and uh, everybody else with the winery, and then we're gonna head out. Obviously, I got home safe and sound. I did get a little bit of traffic in Johnson City, it took about an extra half hour or so to get through than I normally would. Um, so it was a little bit of a pain, but at the end of the day, I got home, uh, had some dinner, got to watch the NCAA, got to watch the NCAA men's championship game, which was great. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I got to experience it. And you know, this is, seems like it's a good time to wrap things up. So as always, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you tell your friends, tell your family about the best wine show anywhere. Click like, subscribe, and, uh, we'll see you next time.